Okay, we're going to go from humor to death to humor if I have enough time. Woo. My favorite part's the death. Uh -huh. Poets should not be in gyms because we should be scrawny and sensitive and smoking cigarettes. Because we should look like we could blow away in a slight breeze. Because we are uptight and have a high metabolism anyway. Because we are so smart we see through all that jock bullshit. Because we consider the line breaks more important than breaking personal bests. Because we are too sensitive for the dank order there. Because our vocabulary intimidates our gym mates and we don't know how those gorillas will take it out on us anyway. Because we take no pleasure in slamming barbells to the floor after a set and saying, ah! Because all poets are alike and none of us like gyms. Because gym people appreciate neither <coughs> irony nor onomatopoeia. Because gym people grin big and smug even when insecure in a manner determined to put us in our place. Because, after Descartes, we value the bodiless mind over the soma. Because exercise hurts our delicate bodies. Because, except for Charles Olson, male poets should not be big, and female poets, if they are big, can be so only naturally or through, or through imbibing. Because we prefer talking to doing. Because poets prefer pretty versifying to bristling brawn.